Hey guys, how's it going? 742 Max here bringing you guys another video. Now, a very different video for you guys today. It's sort of a tutorial and help video. So what I'm going to be telling you guys today or teaching you guys today and showing you all is how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos on the Mac. So I haven't seen too many videos about this and I've actually needed to make this myself. I had to find this out myself. But before I say anything, guys, most if not all of my thumbnails are made by a guy called Marcel. He's in the description of all of my videos. So go and check him out. The description will also be in this video. Um, but sometimes I have to make my own thumbnails and you guys can tell the difference um, So I should say very quickly if you if you guys are on a Mac and you need to make a thumbnail It's not as good as using Photoshop for example on a Microsoft computer, but I will always have Mac I will always prefer to use Mac um, but my thumbnails are made with a Microsoft computer by someone else. But it's really simple and easy to make and free to make a thumbnail on Mac. So here's how to do it. Basically what you guys want to do is go into Google. You've got that. And you want to type in, as an example, I've done white background. You can type in blue, orange, whatever colour you want. Here's a really important bit. You have to type in 1280 times 720 p because that is the size, that's the normal HD size that YouTube has for thumbnails. If you do smaller or bigger, you end up missing off a bit. It won't show all of your thumbnail. So click on images and the way to check that it's the correct image, you can see all the different colours here, is if you hover over it, an image for example, it should say 1280 by 720 so you can actually see here if I hover over loads of images, 1280 by 720 and you guys can see loads of the custom different images, that was a really creepy one, all of the different images you can get. So once you, here's a different one for example, 1920 by, 10, by 1080, I believe that is the other size you can actually make a thumbnail with, but I'd recommend doing 1280 by 720. So what you want to do guys is you want to right click on this picture here, don't right click on the link that you first see, otherwise that will happen there, you don't want that, you just want to simply right click on here and do save, save image as, not save link as, save image as. So once you've done that, it will the Mac will automatically open up preview and you just simply click down here and you will see it here. So here you can see that this is your image here and if you want to see what it will look like as a thumbnail, you go over here to this bit here, just underneath where all of these, all of the, you know, minimize screen and so on buttons are, close application, and you do thumbnails. You click on thumbnails, and can you see this is highlighted blue? This will show you what your finished product will be. So in order to actually edit the, the thumbnail as such, you simply just click once on here, and it's there. Then what you want to do if you want to add text, for example, I'll just close that, that's my uh, security thing. If you want to add text, you just simply click this sort of briefcase button here. Click on the T for text, you can also erase, I'll show you guys some of the things you can do. And you've got text here. So this is actually a downloaded text that I did, I can't remember what it's called, but the Mac comes with loads and loads of fonts. This is just a downloaded one that I did. So if I want to do test thumbnail, for example, let me do test thumb. No, actually no, let me just do test thumbnail. You guys can see here that it will take a bit of delay, um, but you guys can see that is what it would look like on the finished product. So if you wanted to put that there, for example, um, let's just pop that there. You guys can see it takes a bit of time to go there, but if you want to simply, say I want to large in the test, test bit for the thumbnail, I simply click on uh, the A for the font and say I'd want to 50. Then just click enter. And you guys can see that all of the thumbnail has now gone bigger. If I just wanted to do the test bit, I would just write, um, I would put that, write test, and then I'll do another text option for the rest of the thumbnail. Uh, don't worry about this if it stays, sometimes it does stay, I believe you just press backspace and it goes, yep, there you go. So this is a test thumbnail. Now once you've got this, you might want to, I don't know, for example, if I were to bring that back up there, I would need to make all this smaller again. So simply just type, make sure you highlight all, um, all of it. Go back here, let me go back to 200, that was the good size. Um, and it does vary from image to image. Sometimes your preview option like this is slightly smaller depending on the way that the image is saved. Um, but you can move all this around. So if I wanted to now, for example, I don't know, erase something, um, you then click on one of these options here. You can see the erase options here. I can, do you see that's now highlighted? I can go over that, erase some of it and so on. I can easily just simply, say I wanted to copy I don't know, for whatever example, say I wanted to copy this orange into that thumbnail. Just imagine this was another Google image. Google, uh, make sure you do it from Google Images, guys. That's the best thing. Say I wanted to copy this. You just right click on this image, copy image, not copy or copy link address, copy image. I then just go over to preview, go to edit, and just do paste. Or to show you guys, I'll go edit, paste, and you guys can see that it's now actually in here. 
and you can obviously reshape, resize that and whatever. But that's just a really simple way to make a thumbnail on the Mac. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or you found it really useful and informative. If you did, remember to give the video a like and a share and a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys over on the next video. But if you close your eyes.